the husband of the Secretary of Transportation almost seems like this is a, a affront to American values. He is basically denouncing his citizenship. And maybe we should just let him leave the country. And honestly, I would say that he's probably a traitor. We're going to take a look at a couple clips today. First, we're going to start out with a clip of someone probably in the millennial generation speaking to somebody in the boomer generation. Most of our clips have to do with some kind of degeneracy. I think we're going to be in trouble coming here soon. Numbers are looking bleak. Birth rates, loyalty to the United States, upholding the Constitution. Let's take a look at our first clip of degeneracy first class. How old are your are your granddaughters? They are six and eight. Would you support them to get hormone blockers to become the other gender? I would absolutely support them to get hormone blockers. The idea of one of my granddaughters learning that they're going to start having their period if they don't get their hormones blocked, even though they're identifying and portraying as a male. How horrible that would be. So yes, definitely. If your granddaughter came to you and wanted to get a tattoo, what would you say? That would be more difficult. I always told my three sons the one thing I ask is please don't get tattoos. Really? Why? Why? tattoos there's just something so permanent about it permanent it's pretty permanent it's very difficult to get them lasered off or removed you don't think it's like permanent to change your gender see with this old lady it's a perfect example of how our society kind of runs on a pendulum because i think what happened is the younger generation probably pushed so hard i'm assuming this lady is probably a boomer and she kind of was brainwashed by a younger generation by saying this is this is normal it, it, this person feels this way in their head you have to feel this way and you know probably years and years and years of just brainwashing for this old lady made her feel this way and then you know the hypocrisy the contradiction of like i, I don't like tattoos because they're permanent uh you know just shows again the contradiction in people's logic i'm not picking on this older lady basically is what i'm saying is if you tell a person over and over and over again the same exact thing that's indoctrination. That's the same thing they're telling our kids now. Hopefully there's a pendulum swing away from that. Hopefully there's a pendulum swing into more common sense. Are we always going to face the back and forth? Sure. But it does seem a little bit more ridiculous this time around. I need to tell you a secret. I need you to hit the like and the subscribe button. I need to fight against the YouTube algorithm. Because I'm on the road to 1000. I'm going to need all the help I can get. Let's get into it. And the truth is, even if you take like Pete Buttigieg, Secretary of Transportation, his husband, his significant other, he's basically teaching our kids not to have an allegiance to us, to the United States of America. So essentially, his husband is, is indoctrinating kids to forfeit their own citizenship. This land that keeps us free, that allows them to be who they are, isn't good enough. And Pete Buttigieg's husband is basically teaching these kids praise allegiance to the new flag, the rainbow flag, which is kind of sickening because that flag represents the land in which allows them to be who they want to be. Well, most places around the world would never allow you to be the way you want to be. All right, I pledge my heart, I pledge my heart to, the to the rainbow of the not so typical gay camp. And see, at first you might think to yourself, oh, this is, you know, you're overreacting. They're just, they're just, you know, ad-libbing the, the Pledge of Allegiance. But the fact that you're, you're moving away from the Pledge of Allegiance, and as much as you may disagree with what the Pledge of Allegiance says, that loyalty to this country shows that you will stand up and fight for it. Almost seems like this is a, a affront to American values. And honestly, I would say that he's probably a traitor. He is basically denouncing his citizenship. And maybe we should just let him leave the country. Only thing that looks like you're going to fight for is your gayness. Everything has to be some sexuality with the LGBTQ. It can never just be, you know, I am who I am and that's, that's what it is. You know, you can't really tell me that they don't have a, a secret agenda because every turn, it's something new. It's something different. They're basically replacing our American standard 
with some LGBTQ standard. So what if we did replace the Pledge of Allegiance with this stupid allegiance? What about everybody that's not LGBTQ? And then at the end, he says, affirmation the equal rights to all. The only thing that allowed you to have equal rights in the first place was that allegiance to the United States of America. And the only time that anybody ever pushes back against that, when your own so-called equality basically disenfranchises other people, aka women, especially when it comes to trans. There's plenty of pushback that I would have about anything that we say about our own government. But to replace that government that keeps you safe, that gave you your rights, that protects your rights to this day, kind of stupid. You're basically biting the hand that feeds you. And truthfully, it looks like, you know, if you're on that side of the, the fence, the LGBTQ side of the fence, you're allowed to protest and scream at the top of your lungs and fight and honestly openly hate people. But if you are on the side of Christianity and you try to protest or even have some demonstration that is nonviolent, that is very small, people will call the police on you. And honestly, that's what happened to a young man in his, his waterside town, Wisconsin. Um, he was doing a small demonstration, you know, Christian rights. Somebody called the police on him and um, they arrested him. They made up some nonsense. They basically just railroaded this kid out of there. I took away his microphone and arrested him because he was praising God. But through love, serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What is the problem? What's wrong with you? You didn't give him any warning. You just grabbed the mic. This is the same one that we had. Yeah, that was in there. It was not out here. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? You didn't give us any warning. Oh, you guys have been warned. They say we can have. They say we can speak out here on the sidewalk freely. You can speak, but there's no amplified. Nobody told us that. What are you doing? Nobody told us that. This is. How come there's no amplification? Hey, you guys are acting like thugs, man. You're acting like straight up thugs. Hey, you're, you're, you're taking away my opinion. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. They made some kind of weird noise ordinance, some nonsense, just to basically tear down whatever protest that he was making. I mean, from my perspective, the state, the AKA the government, was called in to stop this person from speaking. There was no, hey, here's a warning. You need to leave. Basically, it was like, oh, no, we're here to arrest you just to shut you up. I don't blame him. I would, too, because it is despicable. The police would even come in, waste their time on this. How many times has there been, you know, just massive crime waves, just massive amounts of, you know, break-ins and, and assaults and, and essays and everything else, and you got time for this? And it was multiple cops. It wasn't just one. One police officer could have showed up and took care of this issue. Could have basically talked him into just moving along. Nope. Had to arrest him. He wasn't being violent. Nobody was yelling. Nobody was screaming. Nobody was making threats. But yet they felt the need to have to come in and arrest this young man. Because somebody complained. They complained that, you know, he was a warrior in Christ. So that's basically what we're facing off again in this world, in this country. Essentially an assault on uh, Christian values, essentially. They want to replace Christian values with degeneracy. It, it feels like a sickness. It feels as if, you know, they want you gone so they can basically in, indoctrinate your children into doing whatever they want them to do. We see it all the time. They can just put on drag shows for kids. We see it. It's easily found. You can look it up yourself. Google it. But either way, I pray to God for our souls. Hopefully we can make it through this other side. Hopefully we have a couple leaders that actually stand up and have the cojones to do something about it. But either way, hope you enjoy the content. Hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment down underneath, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.